On July 10, 2015, Sandra Bland, a 28-year-old black woman, was driving down um, a street in Prairie View, Texas. She was from Illinois originally, but she went to Prairie View University in Walla County, Texas, where she got a degree in uh, agriculture. At Prairie View, she was recruited as a summer counselor for three years. She uh, played in a band, and she also volunteered as um, for a senior citizen uh, advocacy group. And in January of 2015, Sandra um, began posting videos online and on Instagram, uh, speaking about police brutality, uh, the Black Lives Matter movement, as well as um, she was known as a civil rights activist in Chicago. It's time, y'all. It's time. It's This thing that I'm holding in my hand, this telephone, this camera, it is quite powerful. Um, social media is powerful. We can do something with this. If we want to change, we can really, truly make it happen. You know, we sit out here and talk about, oh, we need the next so-and-so and this and that. No, you don't. No, you don't. Start in your own home. Start with you. You start being that person to want to make that change. So it's funny. I might, um, whoever is watching this, you might hear the, I'm probably going to get a few of the, the Michael Jackson, oh, I want to make that change comment. But laugh all you want to. Say what you want. Um, but I'm here to change history. I am ready to do what I need to do for this next generation. State Trooper Brian and Cynia had pulled Sandra over for not uh, using her turn signal to change lanes, which I'm pretty sure everybody has done before at least once or twice. Um, and prior to this experience, according to Wikipedia, it says that uh, Sandra ha had had at least 10 experiences with police in the past, um, both in Texas and Illinois. So I watched the dash cam footage um, of the traffic stop and right away when he approached her car he was asking her what was wrong and um, there was tension between the two of them from the start and I can only assume that she wasn't surprised that she was pulled over. Um, he kept asking her if she's okay and she told him that she was irritated and the tension between the two of them grew more and he asked her to put out her cigarette and she refused to do that because she said she doesn't have to since she's in her own car. So then he uh, asked her to step out of her car and when she refused to do that, he threatened to physically remove her from her car and eventually he ended up doing that and then while he was doing that, he was telling her that she's under arrest. And after he got her out of the car, he started to put handcuffs on her. So then they went out of sight um, from the dash cam, but from what I could hear, uh, he was trying to put the handcuffs on her and she was saying that it, it was hurting her. Um, and then he he kind of brought her t onto the ground, um, onto her stomach, and he got on top of her as he was trying to hold her um, still, I guess. And the whole time she was insulting him, which I guess only made him more angry. Um, she said, you slam me into the ground, I got epilepsy, to which the cop repl replied, good. And then he said that um, she was going to jail for resisting arrest. Somebody nearby was actually recording what was happening and the cop told them to stop recording and to go away. Um, and after the dash cam footage was released, Brian was uh, placed on administrative leave uh, for not following proper traffic stop procedures basically uh, forcing somebody out of their car, um, pushing them onto the ground, and arresting them for no reason. Based on how Brian and Sandra were interacting during her arrest, um, I can only imagine how the next three days after being arrested went for her. I'm guessing that she continued to insult and argue with the officers, and rightfully so, but the officers wouldn't have like that and it would have angered them even more um, and since a lot of cops seem to think that they have the right to just kill people because they don't like them I'm guessing that that's what happened to her and uh, three days after her arrest on July 13th she was found hanging in her cell and they pretended that it was a suicide in December 2015 um, a grand jury declined to indict the county sheriff and the jail staff um, for a felony related to Sandra's death. 
And then in January 2016, um, Brian was indicted of perjury, which is lying while under oath about the events that happened um, during Sandra's arrest, and then he was fired from the department. In uh, June 2017, the perjury charge against Brian was dropped in return for his agreement to end his law enforcement career. So to sum things up, Sandra Bland got arrested and murdered on the premise of failing to signal into um, another lane, while a racist and ignorant cop and a bunch of crazies at the jail, uh, the staff there, um, basically assaulted and murdered Sandra and nobody has any basis to even make a single arrest besides hers. And I know for a fact that she was murdered and it was covered up. Um, you can look up the information and the details on her uh, death for yourself, but nothing uh, lines up to her committing suicide. Uh, she didn't have the energy and the personality of someone who is suicidal and trust me, I, I know what that looks like. Um, she literally said in one of her uh, Instagram posts, there are uneducated people who are hell-bent on self-extermination. I am not one of them. She also said repeatedly in the dash cam footage that she can't wait to go to court um, to fight this and so why would she kill herself? And the mugshot that they took of her is after they killed her. The jail footage of her shows uh, her murderer putting on gloves and um, the footage was edited to cut out showing him walking to her cell. Um, there is a video timestamps missing and um, her signatures also that she supposedly signed at the jail are not consistent. Um, and after her, after her arrest she spoke to I believe her sister on the phone and her sister said that she was not, um, she was not suicidal but she was mo motivated to keep fighting. Also, um, documents that were obtained uh, from the forensic lab of, um, that performed Sanders' autopsy suggested that the time of death was not uh, what was reported by official investiga uh, investigations. They killed her, and they thought that we would all just forget, and it would just slide under the radar. And I'm not calling all white people racist, because y'all not, but for the ones who want to get on my page talking about all lives matter, show me in American history where all lives have mattered. Show me where there has been liberty and justice for all, like that um, fucking Pledge of Allegiance we love to say. Excuse my French, because Sandy Speaks don't usually cuss. But I was really irritated by the responses on, to the post that I made earlier, because white people, if all lives mattered, would there need to be a hashtag for black lives mattering? Think about that. Just truly think about that. Yes, black on black crime numbers are extremely high. Yes, they are, but that is because there are uneducated people who are hell bent on self extermination. I am not one of them. I am into building up my kings and queens. If all lives really mattered, nobody would stand to have another human being treated this way. And not just Sandra, hundreds of thousands of other people. Do people genuinely deserve to be arrested, assaulted, and murdered because somebody is afraid of their skin color? Because they made these prejudiced um, judgments on them without even knowing anything about them. To not even be considered a human being. What if Sandra Bland was your mother? Or daughter, sister, cousin, aunt, best friend? Would you let them get away with this? Would you move on and forget about it like nothing ever happened? I want people to know that we live in a world where all lives don't matter. Um, a world where people make up these lies um, and pretend to believe those lies rather than to face themselves. Um, they refuse to look at their own ignorance and they grip onto it like their life depends on it because it's all that they know um, and they'd rather kill someone than to acknowledge their own demons 
but I also want people to know that there's people out there, myself included, that will never forget what happened to Sandra. We will never forget. But I'm a champion, yeah. so I turn tragedy uh -huh. to triumph. Yeah. Make music that's fire, yeah. slip my soul through the wire. Woo. You know what I'm saying? When the doctor told me I had a um, I was gonna have to play in my chain. I said, dog, did you realize I'm never making on a plane now? It's bad enough I got all this jewelry on.